Hi, Jeff Cote with Pacific Yacht Systems. We really take it for granted how convenient fresh water is, when, especially when we live in an urban area here in North America. But as you cruise farther and farther afield, or even right now in the summers where it gets really hot and actually islands, remote islands here in the Pacific Northwest don't have a lot of water, what is, how does a boater go about creating water to at least drink, maybe clean the dishes, take a shower? And so what do you do? A water maker is a solution for that problem. It's basically a device through reverse osmosis that actually takes saline water, salt water, and converts that or removes the salts from the water to actually make it drinkable. We install water makers on boaters that are heading up north and where there's really, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, as the summers are getting drier and drier, a lot of places where you used to be able to have water in the summer are now not accessible. You can't even wash your boat, forget about even filling your water tanks. So as owners and boaters are going further and further afield, you've got to find a way of refilling your water tanks. A water maker is a really convenient way of getting that water, both in these local areas here in North America or as you're going down south to Mexico and maybe even the Pacific or anywhere else in the Caribbean. What's interesting when you make a decision about putting a water maker on your boat is you're going to have the first choice you're going to have to ask yourself is, are you going to go with 12 volts or basically maybe 220 or 120, AC or DC? And a really popular line of water makers that we install is the Spectra. And what I like about Spectra is it's basically DC powered, so you don't have to have a generator running. You don't have to be connected on shore power. And you're, it's a low amp draw, so it's not going to be a crazy load onto your batteries. And some of the models are even automatic, so they'll do everything for you. You just start, and it's going to figure out if the water's good, it's going to do the whole thing, put in the tank, and it's actually going to stop producing when it makes sense when the tank is full. So you can really have a choice as an owner, do you get a fully automatic or do you get a manual version of a water maker, DC or AC? And it's a really easy way and convenient way for a boater to create water when there's not accessibility to an easy source of water. If you've got more questions about water makers, reach out to Pacific Yacht Systems. Thanks for watching.